Rod McClellan from the SAGE Committee. Today I'm joined with Greg Krantz. Greg, great to have you here. Thanks. He's from National Grid. He's a National Grid uh, representative. And the program we're going to be going over today is the HES program, the Home Energy Services Program. And it's, a, it's basically for existing homes. And Greg was here earlier this year to go over another program that was related just to new construction. But again, this is existing construction. So the format would be, we'll be going over a PowerPoint presentation where Greg will give the overview of the great points of the program. Um, and so w just before we start, I'd just like to ask you a quick question. <clears throat> Greg, since you've been part of the program, um, how is the participation of the people coming into it? Do you feel that there is more participation in the Massachusetts communities? because of what's out there and what's available for the existing homes? Do you, do you feel that's a good benefit for the people here? Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. The, this, uh, this program is, uh, is a really good program. Mm -hmm. There's a, a really uh, big benefit uh, for homeowners. And uh, some other states, um, uh, for instance, uh, I lived in Virginia five years ago. There's, there are no programs in Virginia, no incentives. Uh, that, that was more, I was delighted to learn a, of this program before I worked on the program a, when it, I moved to Massachusetts. Oh, yeah. it's, a, it's an excellent it's, program. It is. Very much so. Um, just so you know, I'm a HERS Raider and part of the building science community, and it's really just wonderful, as Greg and I have just mentioned, that this is for existing homes, which is a major component of the housing market today. So um, I guess with that, we'll um, just go into the PowerPoint presentation, and Greg will lead us with that So when we're ready. All right, so uh, what I'm going to do is just uh, an overview of, uh, of the Home Energy Services Program, um, what's, uh, what's available mm -hmm. um, in, in terms of rebates, how to participate. Um, there, there are, a, a, it's almost overwhelming the number of rebates that are available. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so just, you know, knowing what there is, uh, you, you know, knowing what you're eligible for is, uh, is you know, is half the battle. And then knowing who to contact or how to get the ball rolling um, is the other half. But there, there are some, uh, some real great incentives out there for people who want to uh, reduce their energy usage. So, um, so uh, it, one of the things I wanted to start with is um, there are really two ways to reduce uh, energy usage. One is uh, conservation, which is uh, you know, turning the thermostat mm -hmm. down and, and, you know, wearing a sweater. Um, and, and then there is uh, uh, efficiency, which is, which is different from conservation because with efficiency, you don't change your lifestyle, but you have a, a, a more efficient home, more efficient equipment, more efficient lighting. Uh, so you live the same lifestyle. You, you don't have to turn down the thermostat and wear a sweater, but you're still going to use uh, less energy. So, um, so some, some of the benefits of energy efficiency are uh, added comfort. Um, homes that are, that are well insulated uh, and, and uh, don't have a lot of drafts, they have uh, less cold spots, uh, more even temperatures throughout the home. Um, you get uh, less noise because insulation, besides uh, reducing energy lo loss, also uh, is uh, reduces noise. Noise can't go through insulation as well. So uh, you get less noise. Also, your, uh, if you have an efficient home, your equipment like your air conditioner or your you know, heating system also has uh, uh, the run times are, are less. So you also uh, you know, have equipment running less, so you have less noise that way as well. Um, and then obviously, um, you have lower, lower utility bills. You won't be uh, you know, wasting money, uh, heating the great outdoors, and uh, also reduced pollution and greenhouse gases. So, um, so th the ways to be more efficient uh, would be basically just to stop heat transfer, which is really just, you know, in the winter, stopping the heat from leaving your home and in the summer stopping the heat from penetrating into your home. So, uh, so things like, uh, you know, uh, making sure you have good levels of insulation, you have, you know, thermal windows, uh, reducing the draftiness of your home. May I ask a quick question, Greg, if you sure. don't mind? 
regarding insulation, now with ex existing homes today, particularly in the older communities of the South Shore area, I notice when I go out there, you see a lot of homes that really have almost no insulation at all. So the benefit of going, for example, really in a lot of cases is real two by four construction. So you'd go from zero insulation to say an R13. Can you go higher than that in between? Could it, could it be higher than R13 or um, for an existing home in that, of yeah. that set? Um, could it go higher than that or is it roughly R13? Um, yeah, yeah, for the walls, uh, yeah, if you have uh, completely empty wall right. cavities, mm -hmm. uh, one of the measures in the program is to uh, blow an insulation into those wall cavities. And uh, the result is about an R13 right. in, a, in a two by four wall. In the rare case that we have uh, existing homes with no insulation that have two by six cavities mm -hmm. or, or, or larger, uh, you, can, you can of course go, uh, you know, do more than R13, mm -hmm. but kind of kind of the, the typical installation is to go to an R13. Right. And that's where you get the biggest bang for your buck is when you go from the zero to whatever R13 in this case. Oh yeah, that's a huge savings. But anyway, I didn't mean to. Yeah, interrupt. yeah, I just no, to no, point that, that out. yeah, that that's a great point. Uh, some some homes we see so many homes that just have zero insulation, mm -hmm. nothing in the walls, hollow wall cavities, um, you know, very little if any uh, attic insulation, and then. Old homes, uh, you know, old old construction. The the homes can be really drafty. So, mm -hmm. um, so you know, uh, doing you know insulation, doing air sealing, um, you know, you know, modern efficient uh, mechanical equipment uh, can can really you know drastically reduce oh, uh, you know you know mm -hmm. energy waste. So, uh, so it's uh, in in a in a home like that, in an old home with no insulation, um, you know. You know, reducing the energy bill by fifty percent is uh, is is a real possibility. Absolutely, so. and when you go with the higher efficiency, you know, heating and cooling equipment, oh, that's it's a huge, huge savings. Yeah. So, well, anyway, sorry oh, for interrupting. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, so, um, yeah. So, so what you want to do is you want to stop the heat transfer. Stop, you know, in the winter, stop the heat from escaping your home uh, through through drafts and and uh, non-insulated you know walls and attics and in the summer stop the heat from coming into your home so um, so a, another thing to do is to use more efficient uh, devices more efficient mechanical equipment so in the winter when you do have you know the the heat loss and and your heating system needs to kick on and warm mm -hmm. up your house uh, the you know if, if you have more efficient equipment um, you know obviously it's uh, you know going to use less energy, you know, lower your energy bills. Um, the same is true with lighting. Uh, some efficient lighting on the market is, you know, only uses, you know, 20 or 25 percent of the lighting of, you know, the incandescent bulbs. Mm -hmm. So, so to, you know, lighting is a, is a big part of uh, energy usage. So, you know, immediately with lighting, you can just, you know, reduce your energy bill. Mm -hmm. um, and then obviously with uh, appliances uh, and then other products like TVs and computers and stuff, you can look for the Energy Star label is uh, is a good practice to do mm -hmm. when right. uh, when mm -hmm. purchasing products. So um, so today uh, we're going to talk about the Home Energy Services Program, which is really a program that's for homes that are up to four attached units. So. Uh, if you live in a single family detached home, uh, you would be eligible for the program or in a duplex uh, or in a, a, a townhome row of up to four townhomes or a triple decker. Uh, those, those, type of, uh, those type of homes uh, can participate in the Home Energy Services Program. Uh, at the end of the presentation, I'm gonna talk about some of the other uh, programs that are available. There are programs for multifamily buildings and, uh, and, and new construction. Uh, so, uh, so anyway, th this program, it's for um, up to four units of, uh, of, of housing. It can be a detached single family or up to four units of attached. Um, you can heat with any fuel, um, natural gas, oil, propane, uh, or electric. Um, so the program has two stages. The first stage is what's called a home energy assessment. And so this is when someone comes out to your home 
and uh, they actually do a, uh, uh, a kind of a, a review of the home. And, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to talk about that on the next slide. Um, but uh, I, I wanted to pause here to say that, uh, the, that the people who come out um, are, are really qualified contractors. These are people who have, have had training um, uh, to participate in the program. They have to have background checks. They have to have criminal history checks, uh, sex offender registry checks, social security traces. Uh, they have uh, drug testing that's done. Uh, they need to meet certain insurance requirements. Uh, so we, we really feel like we have a, a good pool of highly qualified trained contractors. Do you want to go over like some of the certifications just briefly? Like is it BPI certified? Certified and and what else? What else do they have there? I believe that you also said they are uh, the construction supervisor's license. Do they have to have that as well? Uh, yeah, so so the so they have to be certified by the uh, Building Performance Institute, mm -hmm. which is uh, a you know a, a for weatherization training. Sure. Um, they also need to have uh, a uh, home improvement contractor's license mm -hmm. in Massachusetts. Uh, also, they need to have a lead safe uh, certification. Right. Uh, yep. Forgot uh, about that. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then um, uh, and then also. Um, uh, you, you had brought up another one. It, it, it escaped. No, it was uh, the, the construction supervisor's license. Oh, yeah, license. yeah, yeah. yeah. And the, yeah. Uh, the construction supervisor's license uh, or installation installer's right. okay. construction yeah, two uh, installation two installer's sure. license. Okay. So, um, so, in other words, they're qualified. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what yeah, I was yeah. To do we, that. we feel that, um, yeah, uh, having a program contractor uh, come out to your house, we feel, is much better um, than, uh, than, you know, just. Uh, you know, throwing throwing the the, the dart at the oh, phone book, <laughs> no picking someone that no way. So uh, the, these are contractors that have that have really been vetted. Um, Great. And uh, also, uh, quality assurance is done uh, by an independent party on sixty percent of the air sealing and insulation work. So if you have someone come out to your house and do the assessment, and you and you go ahead with the work, um, sixty percent of that is going to be inspected by a third party mm -hmm. um, so uh, so so we really feel like uh, we're providing a, a good service um, to, yeah that's uh, a good quality assurance program it really is it really is so uh, so in the first stage um, there's the home energy assessment and uh, I may not have said before but it, it's no cost it's no cost to the homeowner so they come out they do a complete review of the home they look at uh, uh, you know, what insulation you have, um, you know, what equipment's installed, what you have for lighting and appliances, uh, what kind of opportunities there are to, to seal up uh, drafts in the home. Uh, they also do what's called a combustion safety test, which is uh, a lot of systems that are installed, uh, the, they're not vented properly. So, uh, so what you get is, uh, uh, you know, not all of the combustion gases, you know, go up the flue and, and out of the house. So, so sometimes, uh, if uh, I'm sure everyone's experienced, you go into a home and uh, you kind of smell that, you, you know, you smell that little bit of, mm -hmm. of you know, combustion, a, a, a little bit of gas. Uh, so what they do is, is they test for that. They use um, what they call combustion analyzers to test and make sure that, that the home has you know good indoor air quality and that it's a, a, a safe home. They do this for oil and gas? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Good. And this is and, for and, water and heaters propane. and boilers and furnaces and all of the combined heating units. They that's how uh, they, they test it, right? Exactly. Okay. And also uh, ovens. Oh yeah, great. Yeah. Okay. Super. And uh, and, and then uh, as part of that energy assessment, they also uh, identify the energy saving opportunities. And sometimes uh, uh, there, there, there are a lot of uh, very simple things that they can do, which we call uh, instant saving measures, which uh, they'll install right there on the spot. They'll put in efficient lighting. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, this is uh, mostly LEDs uh, this year. Um, That's so, great. Yeah, some, some really compact fluorescent light bulbs right. still. Um, they'll install uh, smart strips. Uh, if you have entertainment systems or, or you know, com, you know, computers set up with a lot of peripheral devices, mm -hmm. uh, smart strips that will automatically turn off the, 
the peripheral devices. Um, they'll install uh, water saving devices, uh, low flow shower heads, low flow uh, faucet aerators, which, uh, which saves water and energy. Right, uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. yep. That's great. And, uh, and also uh, programmable thermostats. And, uh, and these are on, uh, all installed free of charge. So by the time you've had your no cost energy assessment and received all these items at no cost, uh, by the time the, the energy specialist who conducted the energy assessment, by the time they leave your house, uh, you should already be saving money on, on your bill, on your, uh, on your electric bill for the, for the lighting and the smart strips. So this is all in one. They come to the house once it's scheduled, and just as they're leaving, all of this is already done. Yes. The LED and CFLs and so forth. Wow, that's right. great. Right. Oh, it's, all right. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's efficient. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then, uh, and then part two is uh, when they're on site, if they identify um, uh, other energy saving measures that could help you save energy, like um, air sealing, you know, re uh, which is also called draft stopping, just uh, reducing drafts mm -hmm. in your home, um, or uh, or you know, blowing insulation into your, you know, attic walls or, or basement, um, then, uh, then you as the homeowner get the opportunity to, you know, to, to take advantage of the program even further. So you can schedule a crew to come out and uh, they'll actually do that draft stopping or air sealing at no cost, uh, which, is, uh, which is a real big energy saver, uh, mm -hmm. especially on old homes that, that have a lot of drafts. Absolutely. Big, big energy saver. Mm -hmm. uh, and also comfort. Um, and then also, uh, if they identify insulation measures, then you can have insulation installed and th uh, the cost to you will be only 25% of the cost up to $2,000. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the screen and, I, and it says 75% of the cost up to $2,000. That's the incentive. So National Grid will cover 75% of the cost up to $2,000. Uh, and then the, the homeowner only needs to pay 25%. So, mm -hmm. um, so, that's a, so that's a real good deal. So you have the assessment, you take advantage of the lighting, the thermostats, the you know, uh, low flow shower heads, all that stuff. Uh, then you get free air sealing, and then for the insulation, you only have to pay 25%. Now, the air sealing component is really a major component. That's a huge thing to get that done because insulation doesn't stop the air. It's the air sealing that really allows the insulation to do its job properly. Otherwise, it's just nothing but a filter air coming through. Yeah, you know? yeah that, that's a real good point. Um, and, yeah, that's that uh, insulation is a lot like a sweater. Mm -hmm. So on a windy day the air will blow right through a sweater and your sweater is not doing as well. But mm -hmm. if you have uh, a windbreaker over your sweater to, to, exactly. to, to, stop, the, to stop the draft, That's great then, analogy, uh, yep. yeah, then, then that makes all the difference in the world. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, so there are also uh, other energy efficiency rebates that are available um, from National Grid. And, uh, uh, these aren't necessarily part of the Home Energy Services Program. Uh, the, the Home Energy Services Program is really about um, you know, air sealing and insulation, but what we do is uh, cross-promote other programs uh, in the Home Energy Services Program. So if the energy specialist comes to your house and they, and they see that you have uh, old heating equipment that needs to be replaced or a real inefficient water heater or, uh, you know, in, you know, an old air conditioner that, that you may want to replace, then they'll uh, give you information about incentives uh, that are available for replacing that equipment. So, uh, uh, so there are heating equipment incentives, and this is uh, no matter if you heat with uh, oil, propane, natural gas, or electric, there, there, are heating ins there are incentives available for efficient equipment. Um, also, uh, Right now, just during, just during the summer, there's, uh, there are some initiatives in place for early replacement of old equipment. Mm -hmm. So if you have an old furnace, if you have a furnace that's uh, 12 years old mm -hmm. or older, then uh, you can get uh, additional uh, better incentive for replacing that equipment as long as it's, 
as long as it's operational. Right. Okay. So um, that's great for the homeowner. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So if you're thinking about doing it in a couple of years, uh, may as well do it now. Mm -hmm. Put in an efficient system that's going to save more energy now. Right. Uh, and then While you can get there. a better incentive. Yeah. Is this something that, with the home energy specialist that, that does go there, is this something that would go through the program, meaning your um, energy assessment services program, or is it something that, say, for example, a, another heating contractor came in to replace a unit, is that something they would have to file for the rebate for, or does it all go through your program? Uh, the, the air sealing and insulation goes through the home energy services sure. program. We, uh, it's... Um, the, the homeowner can choose their own uh, participating contractor if they okay. want. Uh, and there, there are over 100 contractors in the program. Mm -hmm. uh, or uh, we can assign someone to come out. Okay. For, for the equipment incentives, um, the, uh, those, those programs, the homeowner actually finds their own contractor. Okay. We, we suggest um, uh, getting three bids sure. uh, for, for each job, mm -hmm. but, uh, but the homeowner is... Uh, is on their own to find a contractor, um, and then uh, they would apply separately for the rebates. Excellent. Okay. Yep. Okay. Great. But, but uh, also with uh, with the early replacement, um, before I move on, I, I also want to say uh, there are also great uh, early replacement um, incentives for boilers. So uh, so if you have a boiler that's 30 years old or older. Um, the incentive right now is up to four thousand mm -hmm. dollars. It's a it's it, it's a really good deal for, uh, for for trading out that boiler. Now, is that for for example oil? Um, you say it's for oil, as mm -hmm. far as that goes. Steam boilers? Do they have to be thirty years old or older to get that particular rebate you mentioned? They do. Okay, they do. all right, because there yeah. are quite a few of them, particularly yeah. steam. Oh yeah. In, in this area, there's still a lot of steam systems, and I know that personally. But mm -hmm. it's just a, it's great to ha to be able to offset that in, you know installation cost with a significant rebate that's that's really good to have yeah, okay. yeah and yeah steam steam boilers uh, there there are rebates for steam boilers mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I can't remember exactly how much it is but if you replace a steam boiler with a efficient steam boiler right. then, then yeah there, there is a, a, a an a, a increased uh, incentive that's so available so for the forced hot water systems that you know homes that have radiators are basically that heated by water um, is that the four thousand you were talking about? Um, as far as the incentive goes, do you think it's that? Uh, high? Yeah, the the four thousand uh, is uh, it, the four thousand is for uh, natural gas. Okay. Uh, hot forced hot water boilers. Thirty years or older. Right. Okay. Exactly. All right. Sure. Exactly. There's still quite a few so, of those out yeah. there. Too. Okay. Great. Yeah. And uh, yep. So. Um, so there are also uh, water heating incentives through the program, mm -hmm. and again, uh, they're available for oil, propane, natural gas, uh, or electric. Um, and then uh, there are also air conditioning incentives, and there is an early replacement program going on this summer for um, uh, air conditioning equipment that's again 12 years old or older. Okay. So if you're if you're thinking about replacing your air conditioner. Uh, sometime soon. Uh, now's a now's a great time to, to take advantage of this program. Mm -hmm. So um, it's real expensive replacing, oh, you know, you know, yeah. replacing equipment. Sure. You know, go, you know, going through the program um, to to make these upgrades. So uh, another thing that National Grid offers is a zero percent interest heat loan. Mm -hmm. So this is for uh, qualified energy efficiency improvements, uh, and uh, customers can borrow uh, up to twenty-five thousand uh, dollars. In some cases, like for landlords or, or for some certain types of projects, they can even borrow up to fifty thousand mm -hmm. dollars uh, at zero percent. National wow. Grid actually pays the interest to the bank for you, um, and uh, it's uh, the the loan terms are up to seven years. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so uh, you know, a, a lot of times if you have an old, inefficient piece of equipment, if you replace that, uh, your savings on your energy bill may, may actually be more than the amount that you would pay in your loan payment. Sure. So, so in the end, I don't know if that made sense. Well, it does. In a lot of cases, it does. Because it all ties into the energy efficiency of the boiler. 
or right. you know, or the furnace or, or the air conditioning unit, and it just makes perfect sense. It really does. That's, I like the way you uh, handle that. But my question for this, if you wouldn't mind, is: Would you still be able to to get the rebates if you went with this pro with this loan? For example, if you put the uh, a new boiler in, mm -hmm. and it was over 30 years old, and you went with this heat loan, would you still get the rebate with that as well? Well, for the, for the heat loan, the the loan that they would give you is for the system mm -hmm. uh, that you're buying uh, minus the amount of the rebate. Okay. Oh, so, great. Okay, yeah, so it is included yeah. in there. It's just right. uh, taken. Okay, great. Okay. Right. So uh, yeah, yeah. So in the end, um, the homeowner would have to. Uh, uh, the idea is that the homeowner would not need to spend any money out of pocket. Right. Um, so. I, get, I see what you're saying. Oh, that's great. As long as they're included, boy, what an added incentive that is. Yeah, really yeah, is. yeah. This is a great program, and this this is uh, uh, such a popular program. Um, right. Both last year and this year, it's just uh, the the participation has just gone through the roof with this now, to, long program. I, I, how could it not? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyway, the, another question I have is, with this um, heat loan, do they go to the banks themselves? Um, what do you have particular banks that they should go to, or is it yeah. any individual bank that they can go in a community? I'm not quite sure how that works. So, uh, so uh, banks in Massachusetts um, uh, elect to participate in, mm -hmm. in okay. this program, and uh, right now there are about uh, I think just over 50 banks in Massachusetts sure. that, that participate. Okay. So. Uh, so what you would do is, uh, what a homeowner would do is, uh, after you have your energy assessment, um, you would get paperwork uh, during the assessment for the heat loan. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes it can be overwhelming because, you know, like any loan, there's a lot of, you know, papers oh, yeah. and forms, but it, <laughs> it, it's well worth it. Right. Um, so uh, so, so they, they also leave a list of participating lenders. Okay. So, uh, oh, so you can great. go down okay. and, you know, call the different banks and, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, see, see what, you know which ones work out for you. Okay, thank so, you. Uh, sure. All right. So, um, so uh, ways to participate in the program. There are two paths in the program. One is uh, just to call. You know, eight six six five two seven save, and uh, we have a, a a call center. They're they're waiting for your call. They'll immediately schedule you for a home energy assessment. Uh, they'll send someone out. Um, get the ball rolling that way. Um, or uh, if, if you wanted to choose your own participating contractor, um, and, and like I said before, there are uh, m many contractors uh, that participate with the program, um, you can go to the MassSave website, and uh, the, the, the link to the website is, is, is on the screen. I know it's really long, um, so, so if you don't have a chance to write it down right now, if you just go to MassSave.com, and then just click on the, the for your home link. Um, it's it's kind of intuitive. You can you can find your way there. Uh, the the link you're looking for is called uh, working with a contractor. Um, so uh, so also uh, at the beginning, I said I was going to talk about some other uh, energy efficiency programs. So mm -hmm. the home energy services program isn't the only program run by National Grid. Um, there are uh, programs for uh, uh, multifamily um, buildings. So, uh, so if, if you live in an apartment building or if you're a landlord and you own, a, own an apartment building uh, with uh, uh, five or more units, um, there's, a, there's a number on the screen um, you can call. You can also go to that MassSave.com uh, website to find out more about the program. There are also uh, income eligible programs that are really great. They're, uh, they're uh, no money out of pocket to participate in the program to, to save big on, uh, on energy bills. Um, there is also the uh, residential new construction program, which uh, Gerard is a, oh, yep. is a, mm -hmm. a, a HERS, Hers rater, rater for in, that. Yep. in that program. It's a um, great program as well. That's for uh, low rise construction, um, like single family, you know, detached homes, you know, town homes or or buildings up to three stories, um, and then there's another path for uh, for mid-rise uh, and high-rise buildings mm -hmm. um, to offer uh, incentives for for building uh, more energy efficient. Now, with these uh, you, the one to five units, 
Uh, how about condominiums? How would, if how does that work? Does the program uh, work with them as well? The condominium owners say there's uh, five yeah. units in a particular dwelling. Yeah. Um, will they work with each owner? How does that work? You know, um, it's uh, uh, the home energy services program uh, runs into that situation on one to four uh, unit dwellings, mm -hmm. and uh, and um, uh, the home energy services program just treats each condo as a separate unit. Oh, okay, sure. In the, the multifamily program, uh, they'll, what, what they'll do is they'll contact the, um, the landlord or the condo association mm -hmm. or whoever it is to, uh, to try to get an agreement where they can go in and serve all the units in, in the project. And then uh, each individual uh, unit owner would have the uh, opportunity to opt out if for some reason they didn't want it, mm -hmm. but uh, but but if if all the owners opted in, then they they would do 100% of the oh, units that's in, the, great. Okay. In, the, in the in the condo association. Mm -hmm. So uh, so there are also uh, other programs for uh, lighting and products. Um, there, uh, if if you just go to uh, uh, Home Depot uh, or uh, or Lowe's or or you know uh, what you know whatever hardware stores. Um, and, and buy stuff off the shelf, it may already be reduced in price uh, for, from incentives for the program. Um, and then there are uh, incentives for items a lot of people don't know about, like, uh, like pool pumps. Like just uh, before this, <laughs> before, before this show, Gerard and I were talking and, and uh, he's gonna, on the market, I'm he's in the market for a pool program. pump. Yep. Absolutely, just, um, just went last week. Yep. Okay, and uh, <laughs> they're also- Perfect uh, timing. C commercial uh, and industrial available municipalities. Um, so uh, uh, a, a good resource to go to, to just to get more information is um, the National Grid website uh, or the MassAve website, and uh, both of those are, uh, are are on the screen now. So uh, so that was it for That's the uh, for the presentation. Well, thank you for, once again for explaining the program. I know there's a lot to it. So if there's any uh, if you have any questions, you can certainly go to the SAGE website and just um, in our comment section, just leave the questions that you may have. But once again, I would just would like to thank you very much for coming. I know it was short notice and that um, there's a lot to it, but the program is a great program, and I'm just really, again, happy that it's for existing homes because there's a lot of them out there. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I, once again, so, just thanks yeah. once again. So yeah, so thanks, it. thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah, we, we're always looking for, you know, always looking to get the word out. So, oh, that's uh, great. So thanks. Well, thank you very much, and again, have a great day.